Hello, beautiful souls, and welcome to this live stream. Today, I want to talk about your soul note, your specific, unique soul frequency, and how you being you is what blesses your life, is what allows your joy of living or highest timeline reality to unfold and literally heals you and also creates this ripple effect on the planet where more people feel permission to be their true soul selves and sound their true soul note as well. So it's very, very important. And you know, it's been kind of like downloading through me to talk about this, but the way that it's it's coming in is very energetic. It's very much, you know, I, I'm still like not sure if I'm gonna be able to translate this in human terms terms the you know best way that it deserves but I'm going to try my best you guys so say hi to me when you pop on or if you're um, not on here live if you're on here on the replay you can comment hashtag replay and what is up you guys hello Rose I'm gonna actually share this live stream into my joyful light warriors Facebook group because I usually do all my lives in there and I just really want my people in there to know that I am live for the the public world, the Facebook world here today. So I'm just gonna go ahead and share that. Um, but say hi to me, you guys. How are you guys doing today? How are you guys feeling today? I am feeling really, really good. I, I actually woke up today and the sun was shining and you know, I don't know if you guys saw my, my magical post. Um, yesterday but I, I'm just feeling this really magical energy right now and you know very connected with and maybe this is because we're, we're in cancer season um, very connected with the mother very connected to the Divine Mother like I literally yeah when I got up today I, I started doing some journaling um, while Dougie was still sleeping and what really was coming through is it was just like wow I am just being held by the mother or it's almost like I am one with the mother aspect of God. So, you know, that's something that's not really always talked about when we're talking about God. So I think that the way that most people think about God is actually distorted and the true God is really, you know, accessible to everybody, everybody, you know, not, you know, you don't have to subscribe to a certain belief system, but also the true God is the divine father and the divine mother. And so I feel very connected with the mother aspect of God. And that's really what I was feeling today when I woke up and I started journaling. I was like, wow, it's just like, I am in the, <laughs> the mother arc right now. I'm in the divine mother energy so much right now. And what that really allows me to be in and radiate is like this pure energy of love. And it's, you know, very much a love that's, that's unconditional, but then also, you know, very grounded because I'm grounded in my masculine energy as well, which the masculine brings the structure and the form to that love so that you're not just, you know, going out and, and loving everybody unconditionally and giving and giving and giving and over giving, right? You can see that in people who have the divine mother energy very strong, but without the energy of the masculine, that's when we can see over giving and, you know, giving all this love when it's actually hurting you. It's not, you know, coming from an abundance of love. It's coming from a you know, place that's draining you, right? And that's, you know, not something I would ever advise you to do. So anyways, you guys, let's talk about your soul note today. And I've been getting a really musical vibe um, coming through. I'm very musical, you guys. I don't know if you guys know this, but I play the guitar. I haven't really been playing the guitar lately, but I do play and I've, yeah, I've always been very musical. I feel like that's how I really can tap into source energy. So the way that this download has been coming to me has been me thinking about music and thinking about singing. Like, and I, I'm not particularly a singer, but maybe I should be. Um, like, I think that's something you can probably develop, right? So I've been thinking about souls and how, you know, we each have our own unique soul note. Oh, hey, Kat, what is up, babe? We were just talking. Um, I was thinking about how we all have our unique soul note and how, you know, also it's very connected with the breath too. So singing 
and music is very connected with breathing. And see, this is the part where I'm getting into the energetic downloads that might not totally make sense in human to human terms, but I'm going to try my best. This is what's been coming through. So we all have our own unique soul note. And you know, it's like a sound, right? It's a sound frequency. And it's, it's not just a sound though. It's an energetic frequency. It's sound, it's visual, it's, it's all the senses, right? But we all have this note of our souls and it's when we are being the true expression of our soul that our soul note is being sound and you know people can hear this right people can hear it people can feel it people can sense it when we're really in this soul energy and that's the energy that you're in when you're just feeling like oh i'm just having the best day things are just flowing right you know maybe you've got the the best parking spot just showed up and then you've got the the person in front of you buys you a coffee like i'm just giving some kind of like 3d examples of of what that state would be you know another example of of being in that state where your soul note is really being sounded would be yeah, like that first date that's just like, oh my goodness, this is just like the best first date I've ever had. Like, it's just like everything's light and it's like we've known each other for a thousand years and it's like this true soulmate bond. Um, that could be another example. Or that day when your business is just like expanded so much and you've just like manifested like clients out of the blue and it's just like a huge like breakthrough or whatever. That could be another example of your soul note really being sound. And I want to bring it back to music though, because if you think about it, like, there's certain notes that sound different than others, right? Like, let's just say, for example, like somebody's soul note is like a, a D chord, right? Or, or it's like a D on the piano, or it's a, a D on the harp or the ukulele or whatever, right? There's so many different instruments and there's, you know, there's vocal notes and I'm not like, I don't know how to read music. I'm not like musical in that sense, but you can really get an idea of like how many different notes there are and also how many different instruments there are and how many different expressions music can take, right? And that's really, you know, what it's like with souls too, right? So our soul note, let's say for example, it's like a D on the guitar. I've always loved that chord, so I'm using that example. Our soul note could be like a D on the guitar and somebody else's could be like a an F on the ukulele or what or whatever note i don't know i think they're f sharp but that's not a note there's something anyways i don't know music notes that well but here's the thing so when we are sounding our soul note we can't do that by looking over at so and so and thinking oh wow that note is really beautiful or their expression is really i'm gonna try to do that because it's not gonna sound the same it's because it's not coming from our true soul do you get what i'm saying because we all have these different frequencies and these different notes and these different energies and so that's why manifestation or you know a business course or you know a whatever you're trying to learn from someone if they're teaching you like a specific way and there are specific ways of things that do work right but you have to take into account your soul frequency right because it's your soul frequency it's your soul note being sound that's going to actually give you the success that you desire or give you the you know toolkit to actually create that life that you want right so that's why you, there's so many people that like teach like a process or a step-by-step -step or a strategy or something like that in order to manifest or call in something and while that can be helpful it will be helpful if you're on a similar soul note as them or a sim similar frequency or whatever but there's so many different expressions of souls like there is no two exactly the same so really there's not one way to do anything there's not one way to a joyful life there's not one way to your joy of living that joy of living reality that joyful life that's filled with your abundance and blessings that's going to come from you sounding your unique soul note and your soul note is going to sound like super weird if you're trying to play it on the wrong instrument or like or play the wrong note on the right instrument like now i'm just thinking of music again and thinking of other people. So this is how comparison can really get you off track, you guys, because there's no way to be you that you can learn from someone else, right? People can guide you back into the expression of your soul note, which is something that I wrote about yesterday. I don't know if you guys saw that post, 
but I wrote about, you know, how the best mentors will guide you into the truest expression of you. And that's really the ultimate truth of the matter. And yeah, so I, I guess that's what I've been trying to channel and download for you guys. But is that making sense or is that just like totally not making sense? I've never said it like that, but that's the way that it's been coming through for me to share with you guys. So yeah, I guess it's kind of like that quote or that saying that, you know, what is it? A fish can't be judged on its ability to fly, right? Or a bird can't be judged by its ability to swim, right? And that's why the way that this world is set up is so detrimental because, you know, they try to get us to fit into these boxes of like, okay, this is what success looks like, or this is how to, you know, be a good person, or this is how to, you know, do this and do that and whatever. And school is like, you know, all the same for everybody. And health is like, everybody needs to take this, right? When it's like, we all have completely different bodies, completely different needs, right? And, you know, anything that's just trying to be a one size fits all is really detrimental to the human spirit because like I've said with this, you all have your own unique soul note, right? And that is given to you by God. That can't be given to you by another person or a mentor or anything like that. Like I can't really tell you the processes, right? The way to actually achieve your joy of living reality is to go within and sound your soul note that's, you know, maybe been, you know, veiled from you because of other things going on in your energy field or whatever. So it's about stripping away all the untruths and coming back to that soul truth of you and sounding that note in whatever way that's going to look like. Maybe it meal, maybe it's going to be like you actually singing, maybe you're musical, right? Or maybe it's going to be like the way that you write your posts, or maybe it's going to be just the way that you do your, you know, normal like job or whatever it is that you feel called to do at this time. We all have our own way of doing this, right? And it's very unique. It's very personal. And that's why I love to, in my work and probably why I've always been drawn to like astrology. I've been doing astrology since I was like 15. It's because there are unique expressions here and yeah, there's no one size fits all. So it's really about you finding you, you, and then being you, right? And it's not like you have to go outside yourself to find yourself either. People can really help you though, right? Um, books can help, like whatever it is you're guided to, because here's the thing, your soul note is also guiding you to certain people too, that will help you, right? And um, yeah, yeah, what was I saying? I kind of lost my train of thought there. So Kat says, prayer hands, ah. Oh. It feels simple if everybody had the same RX, but it doesn't work. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Layla says that would be so boring if everybody had the same soul note. Exactly. But here's the thing. This can happen. And like, I've even been guilty of this too. Like where, like you start looking outside yourself and looking at oh, like, oh, those people kind of seem like they've got something going on. I'm going to try to be like them, right? I'm going to try to be more like them. And you can have this happen with mentors too where, and I've totally done this, like with mentors that I've worked with, where it's like, oh, I'm going to try to be more like that aspect when it's like, that can help you. And maybe they're activating a certain like part of your soul, but ultimately you have to go within and activate that part of yourself that is the most you, right? And that can't be given to you. And so we can fall into that like comparison trap, right? Of like, well, if I just do it like this and if I just try to make it work like this, right? And what I've really learned like with my business specifically is that I actually, I, I like to do a lot of lives. I like to do, you know, a few lives a week. I like to do lives in my Facebook group. If you're not in my Facebook group, you should be in my Facebook group, Joyful Light Warriors. I do lots of lives and meditations, activations in there, but I like to talk like this and that's kind of like, like my flow, right? And you know, a lot of coaches lately are saying, oh, you don't have to go live all the time. And it's like, well, no, I do because that's me that's the way I like to talk to you guys is on a live like this. So, but I also did go through a phase where I wasn't called to do like as many lives and that was perfect too. So also being open to your soul expression and your soul note changing 
as you as you do right as you evolve as you go through different cycles and phases right it's gonna change hi mom ah thank you Layla yeah I, I feel it I was like I have to go live today even though I don't exactly have the words for what I'm trying to transmit to you the energy is there my energy is just like lit right now I hope you guys can feel it I'm like yeah I woke up this morning and I was just like wow I'm so tapped into the divine mother right now like I just want to transmit this love onto people it's just it's very very powerful and you know that's what I want to inspire in you guys is how to get to that place where you're just so in flow and you're just so you right like and it's like who would you naturally be if you weren't trying to be the best version of you or whatever like who would you naturally be right and so for me it's it's this person right it's like this is who I am this is how I would talk to you know a bunch of girlfriends if I had them over and I was talking about this like so it's not some complicated thing to sound your soul note in fact you're probably already doing it right but maybe you're discounting it because it's so natural that you think it's not good enough right hey Kylie what is up babe so that was a really powerful statement there maybe you're discounting your soul note because it's so natural that you feel like it's not good enough right because in the society we're brainwashed to think that we have to work super hard and struggle super long before we get to have what we want or be good enough, right? And not saying there's not hard work and all that. And I mean, if that's the way you are, like some people, and I've talked about this with, with clients recently, like some people are actually like hardcore and they love to like do a crazy workout and like do things that are hard, right? That's not really me. Um, and that's okay. But like, what is your actual way of doing things, right? And let's just say you're kind of more on the ease and flow end of things and you like to, like, this is kind of like my flow schedule. I like to, you know, feed the baby all night. Well, I don't really have a choice in that matter, but I like to do that. And then I like to, while he's napping in the morning, go and sit on the patio and do some journaling and listen to some music and just really get in the sun and get into the vibe and it's very chill. I like to start out slow, right? I like to, you know, have breakfast, have coffee and just do everything really like easefully and then later on in the night I like to have my workout around five or six and I like to work out like good and like get my most energy there and then I like to if I have the time and if the baby allows I like to maybe do a little bit more work around 7 8 9 10 p.m. at night and that's my flow right and then the morning hours I do pretty much absolutely no nothing if I'm awake and the afternoon hours I like to also just ponder and and like I'll also have my client calls around 12 if I have clients that day 12 1 2 3 I like to have them in there and that's kind of my flow right but if I was like trying to be this like 5 a.m. person which I have tried to be before I would feel like total shit and then there's other people if they don't wake up at 5 a.m. like they just that's not their flow they need to right so I'm just giving you an example <laughs> of like how it um how it can look for you it can look different right you're, you're not going to look the same as me your day your ideal day your you know the work you do with your clients like it's not going to look the same as what i do because we all have these unique soul expressions and gifts and you know what i've learned recently in my recent certification that i've done with emily joy harris one of my mentors is that we all have nine soul gifts like nine main ones we have more but we have nine main soul gifts that we are here to express and these are things that you're probably already doing. Um, I can see in a one-on-one -on -one session, I can see what they are. Um, well, what some of them are, they might not all come through in one session. They might, but they might not. And you're probably already doing this on some level. You probably have already been doing it since you were a little kid, right? Without knowing, because it's an energetic signature. It's not actually something that you do. Like these soul gifts that I'm talking about, this course that I've been certified in, I'm not gonna tell you, oh, your soul gift is being a speaker or a writer. It's not like that at all. It's going to be more like one of your soul gifts is to channel pure energy from the divine mother, right? Or it's like, it's deeper than what you would think. Layla says it is. And I thought of you as soon as I got up this morning, I was thinking I needed this. I needed you to speak to me. You're so refreshing to me. Oh, I love hearing that. Thank you so much for saying, I love that. Wow. It was like my soul was sending out the spark to your soul to like get on this live stream. I love it. I love it. You guys. 
So anyways, that's pretty much all I wanted to say for today. I do have one-on-one -on -one coaching spaces available, you guys, if you would like to go all in with me for three months and really activate the joy of living reality that you know is meant for you now. You can message me if you'd like to chat about this, apply for this. Um, yeah, I am really excited about that. I love, I love my one-on-one -on -one coaching clients. I love coaching. I love, yeah. I love my package. It's really powerful. So you also get in this coaching with me, you get these one-on-one -on -one healing sessions. Hey Rose, it's not a replay yet. It's live. I'm still live. You also get my multi-dimensional field work healing sessions, which you can also do on their own as well. You can message me about that. So in these healings, I specialize in clearing out dark and planted energies out of your fields, things that are keeping you stuck in lower timelines or just yeah, like looping in these lower emotional patterns that you're like, I have done the work on this, but I'm still here. I'm still looping, right? I can help clear that out. And then I can also help like with what I've talked about, activate certain soul gifts and make you aware of your deeper soul expression that you always have been. I'm not going to give you something new that you aren't already, but I can help make you aware of who you actually are. This, this true soul note. And, you know, also I work with timelines so I can help you get on your highest timeline, which is the timeline with your mission activated and your gifts activated, serving the people you're meant to serve in the way that you're meant to. And also this will allow your divine union with your soulmate relationship, that most compatible person for you. Um, and so many other things. That's just like, that's a super short description of this. So I also have that available. And what's the other thing? My transmutation course. So transmutation is my next program. It's going to be starting more near the end of the month. But if you sign up now before I actually launch it, you get it for 50% off and it's, it's a steal. You guys, it's $144. We're going to be going deep for 15 days and you're going to learn how to do all this stuff, how to really transmute energy in your field, darkness to light pain into gold. If that resonates, send me a message and I can get you that link or message me about any of the other things as well. I'm here for you. I love you guys. And remember, you came for the joy of living. Bye.